Scott, what are we looking at here today? Well, we've got an assortment of some new things going on in e-stop buttons. So, um, self-monitoring contact blocks, um, hazardous location contact blocks, and uh, a new design in the standard e-stop button to make it a little more camper resistant. Do you want to tell me a little bit about each of these, starting with the self-monitoring? Sure. Um, you know, one of the things uh, with e-stops, right, they've been around a long time. Everybody uses them. And, um, you know, so, so it's kind of interesting to come up with a few new, new things to go along with them. Um, a self-monitoring contact block, kind of self-explanatory, but um, anybody who's used push buttons a lot has seen contact blocks or the back of the panel components fall off on occasion. Um, they're held on by screws and vibration can cause that to, to loosen up. Um, when that happens on an emergency stop button, um, you now no longer have a functional button. From the front, it looks great. I punch it, nothing happens. So these contact blocks um, monitor the fact that they're attached to the button. So if the, uh, if the contact blocks were to come separated from the, from the switch, um, the safety circuit will trip and shut the machine down and you'll know that, uh, that the e-stop button isn't functional. That's really neat. And we have these both in our NEMA products, the 800T, 800H line of products, and we also have them in our IEC line, the, uh, the 800F. Very nice. What about the hazardous location? So hazardous location is done a number. By hazardous location, I mean explosion proof, right? So mm -hmm. we've got hazardous gases or something like that in the environment. Um, in the past, we used this style of contact block. And if I could tear this apart, what you'd see in here are little glass envelopes that have a, a, a reed contact in there. And when the button actuates it, there's magnets that make those little contacts go in and out. So um, in emergency stops, what we really want is something that the action of punching the button forces those contacts open so that there's not any electrical or other actuating force causing that to happen. So in these, we're relying on magnets to do the job of opening the contact and stop the machine. Um, and the reason we're doing that, right, these are sealed switches, so any sparks or anything are sealed in little glass envelopes. So spark doesn't ignite the, the environment. In this new design, um, this is actually allowed to let those hazardous gases get inside the contact block. And if we had a spark, it would ignite it, but it would contain it inside this block and let it, the gases out cool enough to not cause the environment to explode. So um, it's a new product um, and relative to emergency stops, the reason it's important is this is that direct drive function. When I push the e-stop button, I force these contacts open, right? I'm not relying on magnets or some other thing to create that action. Is there a certain application that works best with that then? Well, again, it, um, depending on the hazardous environment, mm -hmm. um, you know, there's various classifications. This works in a class one division two environment. So the hazard is only there when there's something wrong. Sure. It's not there normally. Sure. So, um, and that's true of all these blocks. Okay. And then lastly, the, the trigger action. So again, in the e-stop world, uh, in the older product or the existing design product, um, when you mount this, you take the cap off, you take the lock nut off, you slide it through the, through the panel, and then you put it back together. Mm -hmm. What that allows somebody to do from the outside is tamper with it, right? So I can take the cap off. Now I've got this sitting out there and Bob gets his hand stuck in a machine and somebody goes to push the button and they can't accomplish it, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So, um, and likewise, I could functionally take the button off, right, from the outside. The new design attaches from the outside of the enclosure in and my lock nuts inside the panel. So it's now tamper resistant. I also cannot take the cover off the front. So um, from the outside of the panel perspective, um, I can't tamper with this, I can't mess with it. So it's, I could say it more safe, right? Um, and in, then the contact block is also attached with a clip mechanism rather than uh, uh, screws. So um, it's a little bit different, a little bit more, uh, again, tamper resistant. When we talk about emergency stop devices, that's a, uh, a pretty important thing. Absolutely. So that's a change. And then along with that, since we're talking about emergency stop and safety, um, we've also gone ahead and offer a couple of other new things. Um, this is the standard contact block that's been around forever. You can see that the terminals are exposed. I can touch those. Um, in the new design, 
um, everything's finger safe. So, um, like I said, it's an old product, been around a long time, but there are some pretty important changes. Absolutely, there's quite a line of emergency stops. If someone wanted to choose the best one for the application or had questions, who could they contact? Uh, anybody in my team, or our, our team, which is the uh, industrial control uh, sensor and safety specialist, and then um, uh, you know, customer service and the outside sales team are pretty adept at this stuff too.